So as we explore that question while you're opening, as we explore that question, why doesn't God do something about that? The interesting thing about that question is you don't have to think very long or very hard about what that is, do you? For some of you, that is sitting right next to you. For some of you, you'll go home with that. Some of you go to school with that or you'll go to work with that. You know, uh, for some, why doesn't God do something about that? That is a social issue. Maybe it's a, it's a uh, maybe it's, an illness or, or a political climate or, or um, but when it's personal it's a big deal and you need to know that you can maintain faith even though there are some things that you just don't understand why God doesn't do something about that and and the thing I love about this passage that we're going to read is that Jesus didn't Jesus cared about this question so much so that he didn't just teach on it he actually created an, an instance a, an illustration to show us how we should respond in those times when God doesn't do something about that when you cry out to him he actually created a situation so that we, we can learn how to respond in those in those circumstances and when you're in those dark moments and you're wanting to know God can I trust you you need to know that there are people that God loves so very much that he allowed to experience these questions, yet he still loved them and he still loves you.